What's up guys, more Medic One here, and today we've got a couple of Kawasaki mules. I have one here and I have one right here. And they both have some catastrophic failures that are not, you know, anything other than operator issues. This mule here uh, claimed that they were just driving it and they ran over this piece of rebar in the parking lot now granted they were doing some construction out there and this may have been something that they used to tie down a, uh, a tent or something like that but anyway this thing was sticking up out of the ground and they didn't see it and whenever the back tire hit it it kicked it up and it jammed right into the uh, engine shroud so basically this piece of rebar got shoved in to the engine here, exploded the fan, and just ripped a huge hole in the shroud here. I've got it all fixed up with a new shroud and a new fan, and it actually bent the keeper that holds this fan on. This fan's only held on by uh, the flywheel bolt and it's got a round keeper. Well, it actually bent that as well. As you can tell on the red mule, I have the control arm or the knuckle out of here. This is like a McPherson strut. It's got a lower control arm and a strut assembly here. But what happened was they let the, or I, I don't say they let, the wheel bearing went out and they didn't catch it and they just kept driving it and kept driving it and kept driving it. And it, eventually the bearing, it, it actually wore the, uh, the knuckle where the bearing rides, that, the knuckle is just completely wallowed out. And what happened was it let that wheel uh, wobble to the point to where it did this. The brake drum, the bearing went out so the brake drum was able to wallow and the wheel cylinder has been ground down to the point to where it ate the aluminum past the seal here and all of the brake fluid leaked out of the master cylinder. And as you can tell here is the right side. I'm gonna go ahead and replace this brake cluster while I'm there. The brakes look pretty decent. But it's going to need a wheel cylinder and you can buy this whole assembly cheaper than you can buy each part individually. Alrighty guys, well I just want to show you some of the craziness that uh, a small engine repairman has to fix even though it might not be working on engines, you might actually have to do brakes and you might have to do electrical work on the side-by-sides. But anyway, guys, you have a good Monday and happy new year. And guys, we'll catch you on the next one. Have a great day.